Oh, okay, hi, this is a quick demo on how to add an extent indicator. On my layout view here, I have one data frame, layers, that is zoomed in. This is the same data set down here, but zoomed all the way out. So they're both the same DEM, but like I said, this one is zoomed in uh, to a smaller extent. Um, okay, so this is my active data frame. I know that because I can click on it, and that's the bolded one. I can click down here, and it bolds new data frame. Um, this is, you know, technically maybe my locator map. And this is my, like, um, I don't know, other one. So I want on this map, I want there to appear a square that matches this extent. So this is the data frame I want to act on, and it's the new data frame. It's bolded. So I right click go to the properties of the data frame, and there's an extent indicators tab. I want to pull the extent of layers, my original data frame, so I move that over, and then here's where I can set my options. It comes in with a big red default thing, and you can leave that if you want, and just hit apply, and it shows you, move that out of the way, that this opening here matches this spatial extent on the landscape. Um, if you want to go in and tweak these colors, you just hit frame and then you can change the color of it, um, whatever you want to do. I don't even know what's appropriate. I don't use extent indicators that much. Um, so you can also, I'll go ahead and close this, you can draw the lines um, using the draw toolbar. And if you don't have the draw toolbar open, you just right click in an empty area up on top and choose draw. I usually dock mine. Um, you know, it comes in like this. I dock it by grabbing the dark gray and just bring it down here. And I leave it here all the time because I use it for lots of stuff. But this is where you can pick, oh, you can't see this, but there's a line option. Hang on, let me move. There we go. There's a line option. If I choose that, slide this back down. I can draw a line from here, well, maybe, where would you want to go? Probably here. Whoopsie, double click to finish. And then I'd want to pick line again and draw a line from here to here. You don't have to use these. Um, you might want to make them, well, it's fine the way it is. Um, you might want to make them a little bit thicker so you can double click on them and change the thickness this way. I'm just double left clicking on the leader lines, um, getting rid of my, well, whatever. So that's, that's pretty much how those work. Another way to do it is not use something like this. And you could put on this data frame, I just selected it and then right clicked, open the properties, and we can use the frame tab and we could set a nice, thick, equally yellow data frame frame. Um, it's kind of an intuitive trick to let your viewer know that these are the same thing and you, then you don't have to draw lines. So, on the data frame that you want the square to appear in, right click, properties, the extent indicator tab, choose the data frame whose extent you want, uh, move it over, and then um, now you can see that the frame is grayed out. You just have to select layers and it activates the frame again. So if I wanted to go in and change the color or something like that. That's it. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks.